Hi, I'm John Zarella. Here's a question for you. So what's the connection between the weather app, MyRadar, and a company that launches rockets out of New Zealand? Well, it has a lot to do with revolutionizing weather forecasting. Well, the white le looks like an alien. When it comes to space, Andy Green is, there's no other way to put it, a big kid. Launching satellites into space, I mean, that's the coolest thing in the world. Andy is the head man at My Radar. We caught up with him at the Weather App's headquarters and studio in Orlando, Florida. Andy and the team at My Radar are in what amounts to the final countdown. We have one small satellite going up, hopefully by the end of the year. It's going to be kind of our first test case. It's a pocket cube, about five centimeters large. How did you come to the decision that you wanted to put up your own satellites? I think it came down to um, capability, you know. We um, had been through this process of developing this software and making these tools for people for a while. And as we recognized that there would be more that we could do if we had more unique ways of providing data, and you know, recognizing that we could do that. It was within our ability to do that. The costs were low enough, we had the technical expertise to do it. It's like, why not? Let's, let's go ahead and build that satellite and send it up there and, and put it to good use. The launch provider for My Radar is Rocket Lab, a company that specializes in small satellites bundled in a deployer and sending them to orbit from its launch complex in New Zealand. First motion. The company's two-stage electron rocket is revolutionary. It's made up of carbon composite materials that reduce weight, and all the primary components of the engines are 3D printed lowering the launch cost. Wanting to further reduce costs, Rocket Lab is hoping to recover and reuse its first stage booster, just as SpaceX does now. The company is working on an ambitious plan using a helicopter launched from a recovery ship to snag the first stage during its descent and fly it back to the ship. So you have your own mission patch. Right, I have my own mission patch, it's pretty weird. Where am I supposed to put it? <laughs> In his office, Andy shows us a mission patch. It's a pretty cool affirmation that, yeah, his company's satellite will soon be leaving the launch pad in New Zealand. Pretty neat, so I got two of those. That's a really cool patch. The satellite took about a year to build and test. Because it's a shakedown flight, it won't be focused on weather. Rather, it's going to listen to aircraft tracking signals over the ocean. Right now, aircraft tracking signals typically depend on having a ground-based radar station. Uh, once the aircraft flies over the ocean, it's out of range of those stations and you lose that tracking signal. The Malaysia Airlines flight lost over the Indian Ocean five years ago might have been found, Andy Green believes, if satellites were tracking its location. Green already has a second satellite in the works that will focus on Earth observations and it will have some uh, imaging sensors that will look at the Earth in ways that nobody else is doing yet. Uh, in fact, the, the process, we just filed a patent for it. Um, that will basically look at the Earth using these um, cool new imaging sensors, and that data, we'll be able to take that data as input to some of the models. And you believe it's gonna be a huge sea change, so to speak. Being able to have this type of imaging used on a satellite to look at uh, hurricanes using this type of imagery would definitely improve the ability to predict the storm and uh, where it might go, how it might intensify, you know, what other factors are, are impacting the storm's um, direction and development in general. So that's one example right there. Another example, Green believes the data collected could be used, get this, to analyze comets and asteroids. As he puts it, the sky is no longer the limit. I'm John Zarella. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.